Good morning and welcome back to another episode of my video diary on Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling and this is my island fawn hollow and shall we see what's going on today? I suppose we can already see that Leif is here visiting this morning, which is always exciting. Uh, off camera, what have I done? I caught a few more fishing bugs. Oh, and a very, very special surprise. Well, I guess it's not really a surprise to me. Or it won't be a surprise to you because Isabel will announce it. But we do have a new villager who moved in today. And it's someone I am so happy has moved in. But anyway, first message from Isabel. Good morning, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 11.13am on Sunday, May 3rd, 2020. Now for today's announcements, we have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Fawn Hollow welcome to Lily. Congrats, Lily. I'm sure you'll enjoy island life here. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Yes, yes, indeed. We have Lily moving into Fawn Hollow, which I'm super excited about because she's actually my favourite villager of all time. And when I found her on an island, I died internally. I was like, oh, no way. <laughs> and there she was. Apparently, we've got a rank cast in Happy Home Academy somehow. Um... I'm just honestly surprised we keep getting a higher rank every single <laughs> every single Sunday, to be honest. Seems I don't seem to add much to it every single time. An antique bureau. Bureau. I don't know how you say it. Anyway, uh, Kiki Slider was playing. Oh, sorry, Kiki Slider was playing yesterday. I picked up one of his ex an another one of his exclusive songs called "Driving," which we'll put on along with Kiki Mariachi. I mean, we're not gonna play Kiki Mariachi. We'll just put it in, I guess. Also, it didn't occur to me that I could probably upload multiple songs at once, instead of just selecting a one by one. There we go. Let's put that in. Um, let's put this stuff away. Antique Bureau. I don't know what we'll do with that, but we'll figure it out some other time. And let's see what we've got going on today. Today is also a Sunday, so Daisy May should be in town. We might buy turnips on camera, we might not. I don't know. Depends what's going on. Let's have a quick look at all our flowers. Nothing happening over here. I did remember to water them, right? Oh. Everyone's just doing aerobics in the town square, apparently. And by everyone, I mean two people. Or do you gonna join them, I guess? Hello, Leif. What sort of things have you got selling today? Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, these are all things we have. Mums and lilies. I suppose we should stock up on some mum bags as well. Granted, I should probably do it with off camera, but whatever. I wanted to just have spare flower seeds, you know, like in my in my storage, just in case I ever need them in a flower emergency. I don't really know. That's not really a thing, I suppose. We'll pick up some mums. Of course, we picked up some lilies and rose seeds last time. He was here. So let's just pick these mums up for our storage. And then hyacinths, pansies, and cosmoses we can always get. And tulips as well from nooks. Windflowers. Windflowers is one I've never seen. This feels like this should be a camera moment. Hold on. Why do you look so sad, Savannah? Why, why is everyone just standing here now? Is it because I'm here? I'm sorry. I'll leave. <laughs> I ruined the vibe of everyone. Um, anyway, let's have a look at Cosmos. This is a pink Cosmos. And we'll give... I suppose I should have spoken to them and given them the fruits at that time, but whatever. Axel's sitting down, so of course we can't do that yet. Oh, we also have Nick Miles missions, so I guess I should look at these. Bugs don't bug me. But catching 40 different bugs, is this? Yeah, they're filling up Critopedia. Pick up a bunch. Selling 3,000 fruits. It's been that long. That many? Rotten Scent? That doesn't seem like a very appropriate title. Oh yeah, what other Nook Miles missions? Cosmos Seeds. Trees, chop wood. Okay. All very doable things. Any interesting flowers over here? No, those are just things we'll sort out later. Tulips? Any new tulips? Any new tulips? We got orange tulips. <laughs> I mean, it's something. We'll just... Plop it down by all these houses and sort it out some other time. Just looking for fossils. Any fossils? Roscoe, are you in? Roscoe is in. Let's go say hello to him. Also keep an eye out for Daisy May anywhere. Of course we have a lot of money, so we probably don't need to spend as much money on turnips, but 
You know, I'll decide when it gets to that point. Morning, Roscoe. What are you building today? An iron hanger stand. Yeah, please, teach me, Roscoe. And by teach me, I mean give me your instructions, I suppose. And while you're building that, let me give you something, Roscoe. Something to snack on, you know, perhaps a pear? Would you like a pear? Apparently so. It's always good. One of your five a day. And we've only got five different fruits on this island, so... Oh, six, I guess. Coconuts, right? So, I mean, your choices for five a day are pretty limited. Every day. I wonder if there would ever be, like, a restaurant thing in Animal Crossing, you know? I mean, there's a cafe, you can get drinks. Can't get food anywhere. Apart from fruits. It's the only thing keeping a sustenance of this island alive. Any new flowers over here? Nope, we've got a weed way. Pick that up. Mums? Any new mums? No new mums. How about Eric? Are you in your house today? You are. Let's pay a visit to Eric. See how you're holding up a Sunday morn? Just chilling, as always. Would you like another morning snack, Eric? I'm sure you have tons and tons, as usual, but... Well, granted, yeah, she has no food in this house. Apart from a little ice. I don't think ice really counts. He gives me another concierge uniform. You gave me that yesterday, I believe. Why, why do you have so many concierge uniforms, Eric? Maybe it's a part-time job. He's just giving me his work outfit. see any fossils up there no but I do see a spot of weed I was gonna use a ladder but then I remembered we have a ramp here now no need for ladders anymore actually true because we have I can't remember if I did this on camera or not I built another ramp uh, up to the bamboo forest I have a feeling I didn't do that on camera I guess I'll, it. I'll show you real quick it's over here Savannah's not in her home we saw here it is so now we can go up here far more easily oh here you are Daisy me Oh, and here's a glowing spot for today. So Daisy May, we will buy some turnips from you shortly. I'm sure. Because, I mean, what else are we going to do? Not buy turnips from you? Let's see how much we're going for, though. Good morning. 108, that's really expensive. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I mean... It's like 20 pounds of difference to turn up, so that means per thousand, it's like 20 thousand. Actually, that's kind of a lot. Not that much, right? It's pittance in our new unfound 4 million sort of thing. Is this a hybrid white we need? I think this is a hybrid white we need. Let me see. Breed purple one and yellow one to get white 100% of the time. Perfect. And then breed purple white with purple one so breed these together apparently there's two fossils right next to each other I should also tell Benny what my turnip prices are seeing as he just logged on I didn't know if he was going to be up today real expensive if I you have a fossil grounds going on over here so this yellow rose is actually a yellow rosin, which I suppose we'll put over here. Actually, we should just replace one of these roses with yellow rose. No, we know those yellow roses are yellow roses. When I when I say yellow roses, I mean seeded yellow roses, not just yellow roses. But they're obviously yellow roses. Hippo, you're not in. Jacob started playing as well. How exciting! Uh, no other roses, right, for today? No, but we're one step closer to getting uh, some purple roses. Not purple roses, blue roses. We already have many purple roses. And here we are. Here's where Lily's going to be. In Puddle's own home. I'm very excited to meet her. What, again? <gasps> Your wallpaper's so pretty. Morning, Lily. Look who's here. Look who's here, checking in on one on me before I've even finished unpacking. As of today, I can start saying that I'm from Fawn Hollow too. Say hello, new neighbour. Oh, so hello. <laughs> I 
I need to hurry and unpack so I can go meet all my new neighbours. I'm sorry, Lily. I'll, I'll leave you to it, though. I'm so glad you're here, though, Lily. She is my favourite villager because she's someone I had in my wild world. She was one of my starting villagers and she never moved away. For, like, uh, however many years I played a game. And when I checked in, like, even, like, three years later, and she was still there. And I was like, no way. Lily, how are you still here after all these years? Maybe I should give a game another boot at some point and see if she's still there. So yeah, because of her loyalty and all the memories made along the way from when I was younger, she's earned her spot as my favourite villager. It's from Bob. I don't know why I skipped through it again. I just keep skipping through these dialogues, I suppose. A lot of repeated dialogue, so not as much of interest anymore. Um, let's see if Benny responds with any turnip prices. If not, then maybe we'll buy them here. Have a look. what was that? Oh, is this a signpost? <laughs> um, what should we do? Um, do, do, do. Have a look at our windflower. See if there's anything growing over here. Morning, Diana. So good to see you, no doubt. Let's give you perhaps a fruit as well. We've only given out three. That's not a lot. Who have we not seen? Flo, Ax oh, no. Flo Axel, Hippo, Savannah, Audi. Right. Those are the six we still need to give fruit to. Which we'll do soon enough. I mean, we're right by Flo's house. I don't see why not. She does appear to be in right now. Let's pay her a visit. See what she's got going on. Not much, just vibing. This is yours, Flo. Would you like an orange, perhaps? I'm just like the milkman. Or milk woman, I guess. <laughs> the fruit, fruit woman. Here to deliver your daily dose of fruit. like the milkman does every day with milk or the postman see this is a this is a picture moment no I was too slow <laughs> you know whatever oh I see you please there Miss Silvana Sorry to publicly expose you like this. Huh? Can't believe I've been carrying a flea around. Glad you got it off me, Hubbub. Let's have a chat with you now. And give you all some fruit. So you can, um... Say warm yourself up. Warm yourself up doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> fill up your belly as you work out. Thank you very kindly. Let's have a chat with you. Morning, Ori. Would you like your own orange, perhaps? <laughs> and then, Hippo, as he comes down. Sorry to disturb you. I know you're all having a fantastic time doing your group yoga session. Savannah so looks so relaxed. Did you see that face? <laughs> I wonder why village certain villagers give different amounts of bells. It's a bit bewildering, isn't it? What we'll go flea flicker. Helping out some villagers in need. I still have like twenty thousand Nick Miles. I didn't actually it didn't take very long for me to find any, to be honest. It was a surprising find. Unsurprisingly. It was in Madagascar and Alaska and off. Oh yeah, I caught a bird wing butterfly. Not only did I catch one bird wing butterfly, I caught two bird wing butterflies. It was ridiculous. I was just I was literally talking to I think like Diana? I think in the town square and as I finished talking to her, like I just a random bird wing butterfly was just flying to my left. I was like, what the heck? So if you don't know, a bird wing butterfly is well in real life it, I think it's like the butterfly with the largest wing wingspan or something. The Queen Alexandria birdwing butterfly, something, something like that. But they're also pr 
pretty rare in Animal Crossing, so the fact I just got two is amazing. And it's one I certainly want to get a, a model of when possible. I forgot to I forgot to plant that pink cosmos by Lily's house. I suppose a problem now, I'm not sure if we have anyone who quite fits the pink aesthetic that the pink flowers have. Maybe Diana, but uh, I think that's a bit of a stretch. Let's make a donation anyway of this, what did I catch? A nibble fish and a bird wing butterfly. And then we'll go spend the rest of this time buying some turnips, I suppose, on Daisy May. Yes, please tell me about a nibble fish. Nibblefish are best known for their use in a certain skin treatment. This treatment has apparently been used for thousands of years. I have never experienced that treatment. Because they eat your dead skin with their toothless little mouths. Can you imagine anything so repellent? Please don't ask me any follow-up questions. Ooh. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? <laughs> to be honest, Blavis, I've never tried it either. It sounds like an interesting experience. I wonder what it'd feel like. <laughs> Oh, apparently turn up some 91 bells in Benny's Town, so I'll have a cut while I buy them all from Radishdale. But first, a word about bird wings. Who the horror, this behemoth butterfly may be called a Queen Alexandra's bird wing, but I call it the queen of my nightmares. It is huge, indeed the world's hugest. No butterfly can best its foot-long wingspan. The larvae alone grow to more than four inches, as if that weren't appalling enough. They're poisonous. Murderous monsters indeed. I didn't know they were poisonous. But there you go. There's a reassurance that... One of the largest butterfly breeds in existence, or the largest. One of the largest insects in existence as well. I think we had some of the things which are larger is like the walk, like one of those walking sticks, stick insects. I don't know why I called it a walking stick. That's not a thing. Maybe, maybe it's a thing. Wait, maybe that is what they're called in the UK. I actually can't think about it. Oh, hello, there you are, Axel. Do you want this, Axel? And would you like one orange? Who have I not given an orange to? Vivian, right? Because she wasn't in. So let's sell these things off. And then I'll have a small cut while I go buy a load of turnips from Radishdale. And then we'll see what we do in the meantime. There's some good items on sale here. So let's sell some things. No buying turnips, don't worry Timmy, I am well aware. Uh, 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 uh. Well we already have a concierge uniform so we don't need another one. 31,000 bells, perfect. So I'll have a small cut here while I go buy some turnips from Radishdale and I'll be back soon enough, so see you in a bit. Welcome back. The turnip purchasing has all been done. And you can see it's a little while later. I bought about about a million-ish of turnips, not as much as last time, of course. Um, so we're just gonna keep going for about 15 more minutes, esque, and we'll see what happens. Um, what have we got to do? I guess we just got to water flowers and speak with Vivian. We can check out the shops as well. That's also true. Um, is that it? I think that's everything. I can't remember if Vivian was in her house or not. I feel like she wasn't. Maybe she's ill. No, I, I don't know where Vivian is then. How much money do I have on me? I've got 12,000. That might be, an, that might not be enough to buy some things on the store, so... Let's have a quick trip to the ABD. Um, I guess we can move some of these flowers as well while we're at it. And we can water some flowers. I'm using uh, a shovel I bought from Nyx because I am... Um, I was giving some flowers away to Benedict as we did some turnip purchasing and I couldn't be bothered to go make another shovel because I had nothing in my inventory to make it, so I just bought one instead, you know? I guess that's what the convenience is there for. Um, you also might have seen I have a gold nugget in my inventory, that's because I learned about golden watering cans. Um, well firstly, you need a golden watering can to have gold roses, but how it used to work in the previous games is that you would... You would... What, 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 what am I saying? You would water a black rose, I believe, and it would turn into a golden rose. It turns out it's different in this game is when you water a black rose, it doesn't turn into a golden rose anymore. What it does is it has a chance of growing a golden road as well. So, 
in that case, that's why I didn't build a golden watering can and try and get golden roses for ages, is because um, I didn't want to get rid of the two black roses I have. But now I found out they have, um, if you just use a golden watering can, they have a chance of growing a black rose. That's considerably better, I believe. So anyway, let's have a quick stop at Nooks, see what they had for sale. We need to buy some Cosmos seeds anyway for um, our Earth Day mission. Oh, Nature Day? I can't remember what it's called in Animal Crossing. I think it's called Nature Day. That sounds more right. Oh, this might be an antique table. Let's see how expensive it is. Oh, it's only 5,100. Very nice fancy table. We really have an outdoor lamp like this, I believe. I don't think we have it in this colour though, so we might as well buy it. A garbage can. Garbage pail. Of course, why not buy it? Just buy all furniture items we don't have. Got a cat catalog everything. I don't believe we have this kettle, and I don't think we have a cup in that colour either. So we might as well buy it. Because, well, why not? Let's see what we got in the cabinet today. Let's buy a few red cosmoses. Why not just take five? Who knows I'm gonna plant them, but we'll see. <laughs> Another thing I've been thinking about is I feel like I should also move all these orange cosmoses and switch them around with the pansies because orange cosmoses are used to grow black cosmoses, right? But we don't need orange pansies breeding together to make anything, I believe. We'll just plant these here, it doesn't really matter. And let's make our watering can while we're at it, why not? A lot of nature day activities over here, doesn't it? looks like, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, let's make our golden water can. Why not? It'd be exciting. It'd be thrilling. It'll be just another watering can. Hold on a minute. I guess I should use it when this one's nearing its durability. And then this one's a new one. Like, I actually just made it because, like, it was the last flower I watered last time is what ended up breaking it after I did my daily watering so let's just start with that we'll just have a casual conversation like a thing I've been thinking about with this new flower garden setup is it's nice to know exactly what you're getting from flowers but I suppose it's a bit more boring because there's a lot less opportunity for different flowers to start spawning you have significantly fewer pairs that match up so Oh, what was that butterfly? Oh, what was that insect requirement? Common blue bottle, that's very easy. So I guess it means that progress is quite slow when it comes to growing flowers, but... Eh. That's okay. I mean, it's not like I'm in a huge rush anymore. I feel like that's a mistake when playing Animal Crossing is trying to rush away through, which I see. I mean, it's how some people like to play their games. They like to grind things out, right? and do assessing the things like that. They want to... Um, they want to see all their content quickly, I suppose, right? Uh, it gives a good sense of accomplishment, which I understand. I totally get I used to be like that as well. But I suppose Animal Crossing, I feel like, is designed in such a way to impede that sort of progress. Like, deliberately prevent you from trying to grind it out. Which means that people have to result in time travelling or things like that to get stuff done. Which, you know, if you want to do that, that's fair enough. It's not how I want to play, but if that's how you want to play, that's that's your right. I mean, you bought the game. You should experience it as you want. So I'm sort of glad in a way that Nintendo's doing DLC updates to this game rather than having all the content immediately in the game. So, try, so time travellers and people who play the game at regular speed can also get surprised as the events come along. So, like, we all experience the Nature Day stuff at the same time. No, Vivian, you just sat down as I wanted to talk to you. It's okay. If you don't know, it's because when they're sitting down, we can't actually give them any um, fruits. So, she'll just be sitting down like that for a while, I suppose. We'll, we'll leave her to it. I'm sure I'll see her again to give her some fruit. After we make this tulip, so we can use Roscoe's bench to recraft the watering can. I think we have 12, so that'd be 24, but we have 36 waters. I can't remember how many waters a watering can does. I think it's around 60. Or maybe that's a shovel. 
I can't quite remember. But anyway. Oh, I guess we didn't check out Ogre Sisters. Not that it's particularly exciting. It's not nothing particularly um, different that we do every time we look in, we buy an out uh, outfit set. And to be honest, we're getting a lot of the outfits anyway, so... <laughs> We're slowly increasing the amount we have, and we only have 1,600 storage spaces, which at the time when we first upgraded house, I was like, wow, that's a lot. But now I think about it, that's not actually that much. I mean, it, right now it might seem like a lot. I think it's still like triple. We only have like 500 items, but you know, as you play more, it becomes... feels like it becomes fewer and fewer, doesn't it? Not not actually becoming fewer and fewer. That's not what I meant to do in the slightest. I meant to... I want to move those left tulips to the back to get a bit more of a squarish feel. So that's plant bees here. I don't know why that went over there. I didn't think that's where I was standing, but you know. So yeah. Um, what was I talking about? Animal Crossing. Oh yeah. Slow gradual updates. So I'm, I'm a little bit. I'm, I'm happy that we can, the entire community can experience these new events together as they come. I'm excited to see what future events will be like. My only hope is, I hope they're not as grindy as some of the previous events have been. Like, the fishing tourney has been so, so grindy compared to how it used to be. Like, an unbelievable amount of that. Oh, there we go. Golden water again. Yeah, nothing exciting happening, as you can see. So I really hope those sort of things, like, carry over. At least the, the fishing points or something. Or it's, I suppose it's probably expected that you spend time in each season to do the fishing tourney. And over the entire year, you'll get everything. Not all at once because that's probably a little bit ridiculous. I, I don't want to use this as my f my favourite. This will be I'm only using this for golden roses because of it. it still expires. It's not got double durability. I heard it's got triple durability of this regular iron watering can but still. It's not something I want to use up all that quickly seeing as um, its benefit is it waters in a 3x3 space as opposed to a 2x3 space. Which is nice, don't get me wrong, it, but like um, most of our flowers we don't have planted in a big grid anymore. We have them spread out like this, so just using an iron watering can just makes more sense to me. With the exception of when we water our black roses, we'll use a golden watering can. See if we can get some gold roses, because um, I think it's a small chance anyway, it's not guaranteed. And we want, we need some more black roses to be honest. When we get golden roses, I'm not sure where we're going to plant them. I think we'll just plant them outside Diana's house, maybe. <laughs> She's the only person left without um, a flower colour, I suppose. I mean, technically Axel doesn't have one either, but he's got green, but we don't have green yet. And then maybe when we get a pink villager, we can give a pink flowers to, from Lily to um, whoever moves in, and then... Lily can have green flowers, which probably suits her a little bit better than pink currently, but, you know, that's ways off. I've been thinking about what villages I wanted, to be honest, and of course I've been thinking about the Four Seasons theme theming. Four Seasons and Four Elements, I think, is what I was going to do. And well, for spring, obviously Lily, I think, is the best fit for that. For summer, we've got Audi. For autumn, I want to have Phoebe. Because we need, she's my favourite sisterly villager. And she sort of fits. I mean, she doesn't super fit it. She more fits her fire thematic better, but still. And then for winter, we can have Diana. And then Fauna and Vivian, I also would like to see in my island still. So hopefully they'll, well, Vivian will stick around and we can find Fauna at some point. They'll be like day and night, life and creation and destruction, life and death. Thematic. And then for the boys, we'll have the elements. Um, for water, I'd like biscuit. For fire, I think I'd like rowan. For earth, that one will be the smug villager. I'm unsure currently who I want for that. I thought maybe like Zell could be good or Marshall might be nice. But that, that one will cross that road when we come to it. And then for air element, we can have Apollo. So that covers all the personality types of it, and they're the ones I would like to see. I haven't really thought about what colour flowers they would use, because now I think about it, no one there really fits a pink 
set, do they? Hmm, I guess Lily does, sort of. She does the best out of all of them, so let's see how this golden water and can waters. Basically the same. I feel like we should have gold sparkles on the... When you water something with a golden water and can so you can remember. Hopefully our quest for blue roses will become a little bit faster at some point. Honestly, maybe instead of doing these purple roses, we should have just done more yellow roses, but it doesn't matter. We only need one hybrid white rose like that one before we start getting stuff. And it'll be very funny if as in the process of getting blue roses, these ones have a 1 in 64 chance of just producing a blue rose and we just randomly get it that way. Yeah, we got significantly fewer flowers over here. I gave some away. Because that's just what I do. I have lots and lots of flowers, so... Oh, what do, what do we do? Golden milestone. Ah, for crafting golden tools. Makes sense. It's going to take a long while to get the others, because let me see. I believe the golden shovel was for... Helping Gulliver, I believe. I did not mean to water the Able Sisters. Helping Gulliver like 30 times, and we've seen him twice, I think. So that's that's a long while. Fishing Rod is of completing the Fish Critopedia and the Bug one. The Bug Net is also completing the Bug crit Critopedia. That's a given. Um, let's have a chat with Sable. We've been having more and more hot days lately. Summer's just around the corner. Probably time to get out my collection of summer aprons. Oh, I think that's what you said last time. What other tools? Golden Slingshot. I can't remember what a Golden Slingshot was for. It might it might be shooting down Golden Presents. Not Golden Presents, just regular Presents. Um, oh, a nightgown. Interesting. Why don't we buy one of these and a, a plain cap? A plain blue cap? Triangle shades? I don't think we have these before. Frilly socks and... Ooh, rubber toe sneakers. We, I don't think we've had a lot of these. Let's go with this purple one. Why not? What is golden slingshot? What other tools are... Oh, even golden axe I know is I think you had to break a hundred axes something like that that, that would take an age I don't know who's cutting down that many trees I mean keep breaking them but what's the other tool one two three four five six seven what's your six I suppose because there's not going to be two different types of axes um What is the golden slingshot? I thought it was maybe shooting down a lot of slingshot presents, but I think that's just some of the previous versions. I think they changed it for this one. But I simply can't imagine what it would be. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we can search it as we're watering these plants. Gold. And tools. I'm sure if I just search that, it'll probably come up. There it is. Let's scroll down here and see. Golden axe. After you've destroyed a hundred flimsy axes, stone axes, or regular axes. Oh, any type of axe. I thought it was just um iron axes. And I was thinking, it's like, who's chopping down like six thousand trees? To <laughs> get that. Golden fishing rods, of course, complete the thing. Golden nets, complete the thing. Golden shovel. Uh, complete the Critopedia. Golden shovel, help Gulliver 30 times. So I guess we should check our shores more often. Golden Slingshot. Shoot down 300 balloons, completing its reigning treasure in the command achievement. Oh, it is. So that'll be, of course, in quite a while. Actually, let's see how close we are to it right now. It's reigning treasure. Where is it? Hundred and seventy four. So about halfway there. A bit over, halfway there. Ah, I should have took some red windflowers from Benny's Island. I forgot about it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We'll get purple windflowers eventually. No rush, as I say. Take things slow. Because you've got lots of time in the world. You know? That's the message for today. That's what the episode title will be. Taking, slow, slow, taking things slow. Slow down. Do we check our shores today? Oh, there's a message in a bottle. From 
popstar dotty a magazine rack oh i already know this recipe i believe yeah i suppose let's have a quick scan of our shores see if gulliver's washed up i don't think he will be washed up because uh miss daisy may was visiting today but we might as well check oh there's also a bell tree here i don't know how i didn't notice this let's hold this and chop this down I wonder how many axes we've broken. Like how close we are to getting our own golden axe, I suppose. So let's have a quick look around. I suppose we can try and talk to Vivian again if she's still out and about and not sitting down. I do find it kind of bizarre you can't give presents to villagers when they're sitting down. That just seems odd to me, but... You know, this is one of the, what's the word? I was going to say intricacies, that's not the word I meant. One of the peculiarities, that's also not the word I meant, but I can't think of it. Of Animal Crossing. Whether that will change in the future, I don't know. Let's have a walk over to where we last saw Vivian. She was by the bridge to Audie's house, wasn't she? Oh. Axel's thinking. What are you thinking about, Axel? Hey, I thought up a super awesome nickname for you. You ready for this? What is it? Try it out. Mountain. Pretty good, huh? Nice. Sure, why not? Yes, from now on, I'm going to call you Mountain. Oh, or maybe even Champion Mountain. <laughs> so we've got a lot of nicknames going for ourselves. We're now Mountain and Highway. Vivian's still having a relaxing day there. I don't blame her. She ta she's taking life slow, you see. She knows what it's all about. Low battery. Oh no. That's okay. We're only having a quick scan to see if Gulliver might have washed up on shore today. I don't think he has it. It seems like it. I feel like I would have seen him over here when I was going to Vivian's house, to be honest. He's not. So, I mean, that's a pretty good place to round off this episode. With, well, nothing much left to do for today. So remember, take things slow. That, that's the moral of today's, today's episode. You know, I don't know if there are morals. You know, take things though. There's no need to rush things. So anyway, <laughs> with that, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I've been Dear Darling. I hope we can see each other again, but for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, it's a goodbye for me.